Hello everyone, it's Reliable Prepper, Technician 775 here. I had someone ask me to put one of the Ivesway can sealers uh, together from scratch. So what I did, uh, I bought one off of eBay, uh, it looked fairly decent, and the handle was missing off of the unit. I just happened to have a, a unit here that I had picked up previously, and it was one of the newer manufactured uh, units. This one right here, uh, was probably manufactured in the 70s maybe, uh, very early 80s uh, thereabouts because the gentleman who runs Ives Way right now took the company over mid 80s thereabouts best I can remember. Uh, I talked to him for about 45 minutes today, a very, very nice, very knowledgeable person, really nice guy. So with that said, we're going to get started putting this together. So what you would do if you have a table, you know, um, uh, obviously this table right here is a real thin one. So we have a piece of wood we're actually going to use as a spacer and I had to clean this up a little bit it wasn't real dirty but uh, it needed it need a little bit of love and attention so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and, and mount this uh, pretty tight underneath the table here and I hope you can see that in the camera let me take a quick look because I want to make sure all this gets in there yep looks like it okay I guess I can turn this around where I can see what the heck's going on. Oh, modern technology and an old man, you know, so, uh, okay. So we're gonna, it comes um, with a pin, a, a multi-use pin. It's about a three inch pin. We wanna get it pretty snug under for the table right there. Okay, so after that, uh, this is the base. This is the head, okay? And we wanna take and mount this where you see the slot right here and line up with the slot that's actually in the base and you will see the slot in the base okay the name right here goes it faces toward you and it should just kind of slide right in just like that i'm gonna have to order some spare parts for for this i think this is the pin that came with it all righty we'll get it put in there and you have to kind of line it up it goes in and just take your hammer and tap the pin in until until the pin is flush okay yeah, it's pretty much flush so with that I think we're finished with the hammer we'll set it off to the side uh, okay so alrighty so now unit does go up and down like it's supposed to okay you'll see some YouTube videos where uh, they didn't exactly have it the right way but this does go up and down and it will need a little bit of oil whenever we finish or we're going to put this thing together we'll put it together with some oil okay so you'll have to take and select which uh, chuck you want okay but before that we will take and if you look here as yeah, zero if you look here in the all right you'll see a zero down there you will you do want to take and roll your crank around till it does go to zero okay and then all right my shop's the best you gotta kind of bear with me on that okay if this is not and you're supposed to use a quarter I just don't have a quarter on it I don't think anybody's got any change anymore um, so what you do okay it normally comes in, in pieces like this what you do you'll you'll line this up to where it says zero in the window and you want this crank to hang straight down all right and the 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 zero still needs to stay in the middle of the window and like I say they tell you to use a quarter it really doesn't take a whole lot of force uh, also, also to make sure that your gears have uh, had this kind of snug. Make sure your gears have grease on them around here. This is an oil point and we'll show the oil points later on. Okay, so we're setting it up for a number two can, to seal a number two can. This is a, a number two can right here. It's a lion can. Uh, you get these from Berlin Packaging or House of Cans. Uh, both of them have number two lined and they also have a two and a half that's lined. Uh, both of them, uh, both good companies, uh, you know, good cans and such as that. I've ordered from both of them and uh, 
outstanding uh, service from both. Now, Berlin Packaging does have this unit right here, brand new, for $275 plus shipping, which is a steal. Uh, you, you get a unit that you can do one, two, two and a half, three, and I think number four cans. It comes pretty much set up with just about everything you need. Um, the man who runs Ivesway, a really good guy, call and talk to him, really knowledgeable. Okay, uh, if uh, there's a few parts on here that need to be upgraded, and I'm just going to go ahead and work with what I got. He said uh, it cost you, oh, probably, I don't know, maybe $50, $60. Uh, the chucks back then in the, in the day were made of a certain material, and that was the old company. He's, he's going way above and beyond, and they've got actually good stuff uh, nowadays. So with that said, we are going to take and put this up right here. Okay, the... Um, Oh, the uh, rollers will come, you know, pretty much in a box. Uh, sometimes you'll get them set up, sometimes not. Okay, the thumb screw and these little piece right here. Okay, so with that done, all right. So this right here, you'll see the edge, the beveled edge goes right here. Just like that, put it in there and go down. Okay, and we are going to set up for a number two so we'll put the thumb screw in right here okay like I said we'll put the thumb screw in like that okay you just get it started to where it just uh, it just barely contacts this okay your seam rollers and as a good description of the of the different seam rollers okay I uh, don't know if you can really see this this one the number one has a deeper and the number two has a shallower okay um, washer on top spring and the uh, bolt that goes with it so the number two they'll have a number two in the window here as well on the little slide bar okay this has got grease in it alrighty that thing have a little grease there okay hold this with your thumb just like this and actually screw it in to the right okay and just until it's just until it's snug you know you don't have to break it you know but uh, just until it's snug all right just like that okay and we're going to do the same thing for the other side all right the make sure that your spring is in there this goes in like this don't forget the washer the washer goes on top and the other side is exactly like the first side we did we're going to do number two and we're going to show you that the little beveled edge. Okay, I'm going to show you that the little beveled edge right here goes on the on the second or number two side. All right, we're going to do a number two can. So it actually in, in this one right here sets up in the very in the middle. Okay, yeah, it's good and snug. Okay, so the, both of these are set up in number two. The thumb screws are are ready to go. Okay, you got this and you got that. Okay. So, the chucks, to take and change the chucks out, uh, it's just a, a screw, just like this. I'm going to take and just take and bar a little bit of grease off of here and put on the threads there. I normally have a little grease handy, but it uh, kind of caught me flat-footed. Okay, the, the chuck, this one right here is for a number two can. And to see how it fits, you, you actually, okay, you drop everything. Uh, you actually take the, the lid off the number two can and it should fit right in there pretty snug just like that. Okay, so you know it's good. If, if you have a, 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 maybe that's a number one so you can see it, it doesn't fit. And, and obviously the, you know, the big one for a number, number three doesn't fit as well. So this is a number two and I thought that was a two and a half somewhere. So maybe it's missing. Or maybe this is the one for the two and a half. Yeah, I think this is one for two and a half. Yep, okay, one for two and a half. I don't have a three. Evidently, that's missing. So, okay, so we got we got it figured out. Now, get the bolt off the floor. Okay, put the bolt through this right here. You'll see how it's kind of concave. It goes like this, like a little flying saucer type of thing. Okay, look up under here and get it, get the, get it threaded, get it started. All right, if you have a little extra grease, just put just a little extra grease on the, on the threads. Can we see that in the, yeah, I think you can see that okay. The handle's probably in the way. So watch, watch the handle fall in this, 
cold cup that's bejeebies out of me. Okay, so we got it, and we just take and turn it just a little bit by hand, snug it up. Okay, now they tell you to take this pin, all right, and there's actually whole holes in the in the chuck. Okay, this actually goes through the hole and find a hole in the chuck, stick it in there just like that, and you just slowly rotate this around until you feel the shoulder and you take and give it up tight like that. You don't want to break it, but you know, pretty pretty snug. Okay, so now that's that's in there. It's still at number zero and your chuck is tight. Okay, so set your little pin right there. Okay, now for the interesting part. The and I've got two of these. Uh, one came with the with the machine and, and then one came with the other machine. Okay, you see the pins one's thick and one's thin. So what we do now uh, and there's, if you go to meats, M-E-A-T-S and sausages, S-A-U-S-A-G-E-S, -S -E both of them with S, meatsandsausages.com, you'll see a, a can sealers. And then you go down to Iosway, there's a really good tutorial right there that shows you, for the most part, how to put these things together. Okay, short of, short of me, you know, uh oh, I got the dropsies today. So we'll roll this around until you see the number two in the window. Oh, I'm sorry, the number one in the window. Again, the number one in the window. All right, the two's for the second second operation. And the number should be right about in the middle of the window, and it is, it's just about perfect. So with that, we take the large pin, just like this, okay? And I'm gonna reposition the camera like I did on the other one. So bear with me here just a little bit so I can, I can show you, you guys how we take and do this. Like I said, my apologies for the shop being a being a wreck, but uh, we've been really busy here, you know, doing uh, doing different things, making videos, um, beekeeping as well, you know. So that's all. A, that's a that's a full time job right there. Okay, so it's in a number two right there. Uh oh, the pin fell off. That's okay. It, it worked just as easy, like just like that. And you'll see the spot right between. Uh oh, let me get my glasses. Okay, I think you can see pretty good right there. Should have had either a white or a black background to, to, to see this even better. Okay, and naturally my glasses would be smudged up, so... Uh, this is almost like a Monty Python's uh, circus uh, video here. Um, so, but we're getting there. Alrighty, so now you see the other oh, numbers are on, on the camera in a way. Okay, this is the chuck right there. Okay, as you see this right here, this is the chuck. And that's your seam roller. So what we want to do, we want to put this in between the chuck and the seam roller. Just like that. Alright, and you'll see there's very little to no um, resistance. Alright, so you take and dial in the thumb screw. You know, this should be, you know, snug, not tight with the, with the tool, but snug. And you're going to take and run this back and forth. Run your pin or your guide back and forth until it just catches. Just about like that. You feel a little bit of resistance, okay? You'll feel, you see, you'll feel just a little bit of resistance. You kind of move it side to side, all right? After that, you turn this a quarter of a turn, okay? Which is about right there. Okay, then grab the pin that I can't find and snug this up. It's gonna turn just like this, snug it up, okay? Now, you should not be able to take and pull this out. Oh, see, it wasn't snug enough. Um, it should, okay, snug it just like that. All right, so that's good and snug. Okay, it's it's in there pretty good. We may have to go just a little bit tighter. Um, okay, okay. Now that's that's pretty dead gum snug. So it should you should be able to take and, and pull this out. Not be able to pull it out real easy, but to roll your Okay, you just roll the roll the pin out of the way, just like that. Okay, it's in there. Now it's now it's out. Alrighty. So that's number one or the first stage. It's been snugged up. You got this good and tight. All right. And this this is rolled in and out. So that's that's the number one. What what the number one size does it side does it actually rolls whoops okay we need to go to the other side anyways 
it actually rolls the lip around the uh, can. Oh man, this isn't working out real well. I'm bumping into everything. Okay, what it does, and we'll show you here, this lip right here on the very first seam, it'll actually start rolling this around onto this right here. Because if you notice, there's a little gasket right on the inside, and you're going to want to roll it over. Well, once it rolls it over, real good. Side number two right here will actually push it flat and makes you good seal. So with that, with that said, we got this snug, okay? We're gonna roll this into number two. Okay, after the number one, you'll see a C, which is the center, okay? You see a C in the window. Keep going until you see the number two pop up in the window. Alrighty, okay, maybe one more time. Okay, we got a number two in the window right there. So with that said, we're gonna take the other one, which is the thin one, you can see how you can see how thin this is, and we're gonna actually gonna put it between the the roller, okay, and the chuck. We're gonna set it just like that. If you can see that, I hope you can. All right, and we're gonna take it. We got this finger tight, and we're gonna actually keep. We're gonna roll this in, and you can see me rolling this in until, all right, and just barely feel some a little bit of resistance, a little bit of resistance right there. Okay, you got, I don't know what that was. Um, okay, camera just shut off by itself. I guess the battery was uh, was just about out. So my apologies for that. All right, so, and this is roll number two, the thin pin, all right? And you get just a little bit of resistance between this. You can feel it where it's kind of barely touching. Roll your, roll your thumb screw in just a little bit until you get some resistance, all right? Until you can, you can kind of feel it going in and out. Okay. So at that point right there, we're going to take and roll this about a quarter of a turn, which is about like that. And then we're going to take our pin and tighten this up just like that. Okay, it's good and snug. So this should not come out real easy. Uh, we still need to tighten it up a little more. Okay, so we're going to loosen this up. Like I said, it may take you a couple tries. And about an eighth of a turn, good and tight and okay good and you really it's kind of not hard to pull out but you can't okay and what we'll have to do is kind of back this up to get it out just like that so all right let's try this again okay and we'll have to roll it in there to get it out okay we're gonna, gonna need to put this a little we're gonna tighten this up just a little bit more all right so Put this back in. Okay. Alright. Okay, thumb screw just another bit of a turn. Okay, and then snug this up. Okay. Alright. We'll try a cam, but I think this one may have to go just a little bit tighter. Um yeah, because I don't think we're not we're not in there as, as tight as we need to be. We're still in the we're still in the window. Number two is still in the window, so alright. We're gonna go just a just a smidgen more. I gotta say this is a new machine. I don't think it's ever been used. Okay, so that's that's a little bit better. Okay, so we drop the stuff again. Alrighty. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna take and reposition the camera back just a little. Alrighty, about like this. So you can see, all right, my elbow won't hit it um, as well. Okay, so you have to excuse the way I'm dressed. I've been working out the bees earlier this morning and trying to get this done as well. So this is your turntable, okay? Uh, your washer, your spacer. Uh, for certain cans, you have to have certain size spacers. Your spring needs to go down in there, and this goes in here just like this. Okay, so this is a number two can, and we are going to take and see how this is going to take and, and mash up. Okay, as you can see, um, oh, okay, probably help if I take and roll this back to zero. That is zero. You might want to get a Q-tip, there's some oil, some grease in there a lot of times, and you can, all right, we're still in a window. 
um, you can you can clean that up. Okay, this fits right in in here just like that. This will come down, and you should have a little bit of pressure. And it's just about perfect where it needs to be. Okay, as far as for pressure wise, when you go to put it, you, you want to take and compress the spring a little bit, and we're going to need to take and, and lube these up a little bit. But you're going to want to take and and fill this full of full of your your contents, whatever you want to fill up. Okay, put it in there. This right here should go right up on top just like that and it feels like that's a pretty good pretty tight snug fit on all right make sure this is good and that's right in the center okay you got everything centered up and just push a little pressure down okay which is going to take and push down on the spring uh, he does make some new springs it seems as though the spring manufacturer of years ago uh, wasn't as good as they could have been and uh, he did come out with a new spring which is green so if you get a if you get a and I highly suggest buying a brand new unit uh, there's a lot of peril in, in getting these older units. I had ordered this one right here before I talked to him. Talked to him uh, last week sometimes. And uh, if I'd have known, known back then what I know now, probably would not have uh, ordered this one. But hey, it is what it is. I got it. So we'll make the best of it. Okay. So with that said and that done, we're going to take and, and this, should, this should roll around. Okay. I don't know if you can. I'll go kind of slow. So you can watch, see how this is starting to roll over a little bit, okay? And starting to roll, you know, it's rolling over. And it's, it's, it looks like it's got a good roll on it. Now, if you did not have the spacer and the spring set up the right way and a little bit of pressure going down on the cam, it would start slipping. I, the, my first one, I was about to open up the door and throw this whole thing out in the, out in the yard until I figured out, you know, what was going on. Like I say, these are really good units. The guy who does them nowadays does a fine, fine job of putting these things together, you know, and uh, manufacturing some improvements and the, the such as that. So, okay, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling, rolling, and it's going to roll that edge, and you can see that edge, how it's rolled over. Okay, so we're in the number one. We should be really rolled over Well, the number one's in the window. Okay, so with another turn or two, it got real easy. And the C for center is in the in the window right now, so we're halfway there. All right, so we're gonna take and now now you can see maybe see how this this other one kind of this one right here just kind of rolls into place, and it's gonna start its thing. It's gonna take the first one rolled over, and the second one's gonna actually gonna smash it in, and you'll watch the edge right here, and it's gonna start going it's gonna start going flat. All right, because. They've got gears in here that moves this as you turn and it gets this, you can already see it's going, it's, it's getting flat right there. Okay. And, all right, number two is in the window, which means it should be just about complete what it's going to have to do. And it just got real, uh, the pressure has got almost down to zero. And a zero is uh, in the window. We're going to pick this up and sometimes you may have to tap the can like that. But this looks like a good seal. One of the ways to take and, and find out, and I'll probably spice my other video in with this, is you take a pot of boiling water. Uh, after it's boiled, takes it off, take it off the stove, put this at least halfway water, and set a, a weight on top of it, a can of beans or, or something like that, and sit and watch it for about 30 seconds to a minute. What's going to happen, the water will heat up the inside of the can, which will make the ends puff out and if there's any crack or any seam that's not done a hundred percent you'll see bubbles coming out of it that's how you know and I'll like I say I did this on another video and I'm actually going to take the other video down and splice that portion in into here so okay uh, oil points uh, oil here oil here oil here um, the rollers you want to take and pull it down a little bit and oil up underneath and there both sides um, oil the uh, the pivot point right here and where it goes down oil a little bit on the handle and if you look on the meats and sausages .com, there's an, under the different tabs uh, for Ives uh, can sealers Ives weight can sealers you'll see an excellent tutorial on how to do this but someone wanted to watch me do this from start to finish so here it is and with that said this is reliable prepper 775 Steve saying thank you very much. We appreciate you watching and hit the like button if you like us. Thank you.
Okay, the Reliable Prepper Technician 775 here. We are going to be doing a canned seam test. You get a pot of boiling water, bring it off to the side if it doesn't uh, take and mess the camera lens up. Alright, you take the can, put it in the water like this with... Okay, this is going to be a two-handed operation. Hmm. Alright, hang on. Okay, so we put the can in the water just like that, and the premise is it's going to take in the water is going to heat up the inside of the can where it's going to expand, and if you have a bad seam, it will actually show bubbles. So nah, nothing so far. Don't know how long this is going to take since this is the first time I've done it. So. All right, nothing yet, except for a foggy camera lens. Hmm. All right. Okay, it's cleared up a little bit. I uh, still don't see anything yet. But we're well, gonna wait and see. Don't see any bubbles. Oh, I see one bubble. Uh huh. So here we go, perfect example of a bad seam, although the seam tester did show it good, we do have some bubbles coming to the surface. Alright, that's what you have to test for. Probably could have put this a little bit more water, and they said about about half the can full. So what we're going to have to do is go back and readjust the seam, the rollers on the Ives way, all right? Because this was sealed on the Ives way, and it looks like that's right on the seam of the can. So that's going to be a, a suspect uh, spot there. Is that Sparky? Hey, Sparky. Sparky the dog. Alright. So I'm going to give this a few minutes just to see what it's going to do and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is the second can that I seamed. You just have to make sure that you put your seam side. Alrighty, let me see if I can find it, which one it is. Uh oh. Okay. This is the same side. I'm going to put it at a little bit of an angle just to make sure all the all the air is, is out from underneath the lip. And we're going to see what happens. Alrighty. So, nothing yet. And yeah, you're going to waste a few cans getting this thing dialed in. But it is time well spent to make sure that you have a 100% good seal because the worst thing is and that's the seam right there so looks like the seam is doing pretty good knock on wood although we just put it in that's going to take a little time to generate some heat I put a little more I put a little extra water in the pot just to bring the water level up on a can it probably could have been just a little bit more they said about halfway um, and that's yeah maybe halfway you know, it's just, it'll just aid in heating up the can faster. So, nothing yet. Let me knock on, let me knock on wood. It's probably easier to move the damn pot than it is, the dead gum pot, excuse me, the pot than it is to be walking around the stove in a circle. So, I don't see anything. It looks like a leak. I watched me burn myself. That's par for the course. Uh-oh, camera lens fogged up. Crapola, but I still don't see anything leaking, so we're gonna. All right, it's it's cleared out. Okay, let me get over here on the light side just to make sure. Yeah, I can get. There. Let me let me use some of this technology here. Um, there you go. I'm away from the 
I'm used to using my old Kodak ZI8 which had a fixed lens and I used to this newfangled uh, stuff here so nothing leaking and it would have leaked by now if it was leaking let's check the seam what I did on the the sealing the seamer the sealing machine I uh, loosened up the the rollers and turn the thumb screw about a quarter of a, a turn. That's take take it just about a quarter of a turn, the most at any one time. That's what I did, and it seemed to have done the trick. Now, it is said that sometimes when this thing gets the can gets hot enough and it has sealed up well enough, it will blow one of the ends off. So, if there is a you hear me screaming and there's hot water going everywhere, as you know what happened. Hopefully, it'll blow up the top, not the bottom. Okay, so it looks like we have a good, let's check that seam one more time. Just to make sure that's the seam. Sorry for the jumpy camera. Uh, where's the seam? Uh, uh, there's, okay, we got the seam. Okay. And let the... Looks good, no, no air coming out. Okay, so I think we're good on the uh, seal, so we can uh, seal up some more uh, items there. And I'll just have to open up the cans on the other one and reseal them. You know, that's one of the things about setting up your canner the right time the first time and having all the knowledge to do it at the first time and the right time. With that said, this is Technician 775, the reliable prepper. Uh, we'll be back. Lily. Oh, that's my big dog. Okay, as you can see, the can has puffed up, and I'm pushing down on it, and there's no air coming out. So, where it looks like we're good all the way around, and it is holding a good pressure. So, good. Just wanted to show you. Oh, I'll get my hand out of the way. Just wanted to show you all that we don't have, do not have any air coming out anywhere around the can. So, this one is a success. Yeah, that's about halfway the can. That was right at the line right there, so I think we're good to go. I guess I can put a check mark on this one. Unfortunately, we can't reuse the can, but, you know, it's about a buck fifty a piece. But, hey, you know, rather be safe than sorry. With that said, this is Technician 775 again saying thank you.